So Apple just gave us a fantastic Christmas present called Freeform for free. So this app is fantastic when it comes to using it as a collaborative whiteboard. And it has drawings, text, links, photos, and much, much more. So I love using this on my iPad and on my Mac. So I use visual elements like images, diagrams, arrows, shapes, colors, and charts to help me understand and analyze and communicate information better. So visual thinking has helped me with my education, my business, and designing new things and to recall things much easier. Traditionally, I've been using a large whiteboard or a piece of paper. And now I find that Freeform is a great supplement to that entire process. The standout feature on Freeform is that it's practically an unlimited canvas. So you could be on a long train ride and it even works offline with just an iPad. And since it auto syncs across devices, it's automatically on your desktop back at work. So the anchor to Freeform is the menu on the top. You can choose all of your writing or drawings tools, a post-it note, shapes, a text property to type with, with multiple resizing and customization options, or insert photos, videos, links for websites, YouTube videos or scans, or link a file from your device. So while it has a phenomenal number of custom shapes, the regular ones, including post-its, hexagons, and arrows, are what I naturally drift towards. So if you use Keynote, you'll find that it's incredibly familiar with some of the Keynote features. And because it's freeform, you can just move things around very, very easily. So whether it's planning a trip with your other half or sharing your ideas with your teams, collaboration is just a few clicks away. So team member updates are pretty much instant. And individually, you could be giving them view or edit access to follow along. And when the time comes to share the link, you could do that right from within the board or from the summary page. I use the link to embed it right into Notion from where I can click and straight away open the exact freeform page. I also have a shortcut to go and find that particular page right inside of freeform so that I know exactly which block to go to. So for people who don't have a Mac or an iPad, there is a PDF option available to share that particular file. So in case you're still wondering, you could use this for storyboarding, for brainstorming, mood boards, to build out your slideshows, for YouTube scripts, or for anything else that you want to organize. So every business needs to make it a habit of protecting itself, its customers, and its employees, all at the same time. And that's where this video's sponsor, Guardio, comes in. The complexity of a business increases as they interact through integrations with different third-party apps. On the web, there are multiple laptops, computers, or mobile devices. And different employees have access to different devices and do that across different parts of the web. They spend most of their day working for the business. Hence, activities like personal banking, shopping, and personal emails also needs to get done in that same device. And all of this just risks everything through one wrong click and putting the business or your customers at risk. To simplify things, Guardio introduced the security right at the first point of contact, the browser, with a simple Chrome plugin to secure both the work and personal actions. So when a team member takes a break to complete his banking transaction or top up his prepaid wallet, he can be rest assured that he is safe and so can you. So Guardio goes several steps ahead by being easy to use and offering you full visibility of you and your team's security and protecting you with a powerful shield against things like data leaks, dangerous downloads, identity fraud or scams, phishing email and malware. Guardio's trust comes from over a million users and being featured by Google. So Guardio for Teams comes with a free 14-day trial. Links are below. Now let's get back to the video. So Freeform is more of a thinking and a clarifying tool. And it's not meant to replace other document creation tools like Pages, Keynote, or even Notion. It's meant for Apple devices on an Apple ecosystem. It doesn't have collapsible workflows or no templates like Miro or Milanote. 
So currently, there's no real bi-directional link to link two notes or stickies within the same note. Though you could use the linking from fee form to say notion and vice versa by using the find. So we're just scratching the tip of the iceberg when it comes to really innovative ideas that I've lined up for you. So subscribe. What are you waiting for?